PMP problem proof. The P versus MP problem is a major and third problem in computer science. It asks whether every problem whose solution can be quickly verified can also be solved quickly. The informal term quickly used above means the existence of an algorithm serving the task that runs in polynomial time such that the time to complete the task varies as a polynomial function on the size of the input to the algorithm. The general class of questions for which some algorithm can provide an answer in polynomial time is called class P or just P. For some questions, there is no known way to find the answer quickly. But if one is provided with information showing what the answer is, it is possible to verify the answer quickly. The class of questions for which an answer can be verified in polynomial time is called MP, which stands for non-deterministic polynomial time. An answer to the P equals MP question will determine whether problems that can be verified in polynomial time can also be solved in polynomial time. If it turned out that P is not MP, which is widely believed, it would mean that there are not problems in MP that are harder to compute than to verify. They could not be solved in polynomial time, but the answers could be verified in polynomial time. Aside from being an important problem in computational theory, a proof either way would have profound implications for mathematics, cryptography, algorithm research, artificial intelligence, game theory, multimedia processing, philosophy, economics, and many other fields. Definition AGCFT Correspondence Theory in the ADCFT correspondence theory, the gravity of bound, which is expressed as A in S5, is expressed as a wave information of the boundary, which is expressed as CFT. And there should be a homeomorphic correspondence between AD5 and CFT. And the way to show this relation is the same as the way we prove S3D's five dimension. When the particle gets into black hole, it has topology of a sphere surface multiplied by hyperbola. It means a particle gets absorbed by gravity, which explains hyperbolic topology, and a particle has a wave effect, which explains spherical topology. Black hole topology. In this way, particle has a mechanical energy as wave energy and gravity energy. So, gravity energy can be expressed as wave energy, and wave en which can be expressed as gravity energy, which is a DCFT correspondence theory. And this uses spherical system when it is about wave energy. This uses hyperbolic topology when it is about volume divergence. So this is same as the way I proved the S3D is 4-dimensional. And this ADCFT correspondence theory involves Bekenstein Hawking entropy theory because Hawking entropy says the information of black hole is recorded in the surface of black hole. And ADCFT correspondence theory says the gravity information of black hole is recorded in the surface of black hole as a shape of wave. So ADS-DFT correspondence theory is a generalization of Hawking's entropy. Definition PCW surface and PCW bark. Notification S3 is a sphere with volume divergence and S31 is a sphere with volume 1. And DS3 is a boundary of a sphere with volume divergence and DS31 is a boundary of a sphere with volume 1. If DS3 exists, DS3 is homeomorphic with 4 dimensional Euclidean space. If this 3D exists, this 3D is homeomorphic for Euclidean space. For the Euclidean space is a metric space with four independent variables, and this is a usual four-dimensional space we usually say. So we can say this 3D is four-dimensional and this is PCW surface. 72.1.2 bulk of S3 is five-dimensional and this is PCW bulk. So we can prove PMP problem. For analytic equation, there should be always an analytic answer. Until now, there are two non-analytic answers, pi e, but there are much more non-analytic answers than analytic answer. And the way to get non-analytic answer is by putting infinity to the analytic equation. For example, the relation between diameter and round of circle is pi, and to get this answer, the equation should involve infinity. It stands for E. To get E, we need equation with infinity. The base for continuous growth is with the unit quantity earning unit interest for unit time, compounded as fast as possible. 
Like this way, to get non-analytic number, we need to use infinity freely, which is very natural way because there is much more non-analytic number than analytic one. And to use infinity, we need Ramanujan summation and PCW surface, because we can see infinity in this surface. Our equations can be written in any space, because there exist three domains in there, and the answer for that can be written in CFT. In PCW surface, ADS can be written on CFT and PCW surface always includes C infinity. So the equation should be non only always. In this way, we can get non only number a lot, which is much more than analytic number. So with the definition of PCW space, we prove P is not MP, which means there is non only numbers a lot.